This is Steven, and this question is testing whether or not you can read a graph. A cool potato is placed in a hot 350 degree Fahrenheit oven to cook for one hour. Which graph best represents what happens to the temperature of the potato as it cooks during the hour? So some keywords, it's a cool potato, 350 degree oven for one hour. So let's take a look at our answer choices. So each of these graphs has the temperature for the y-axis and the time for the x-axis. We don't have to worry about any of the graphs being different in that case. But we need to look at the each one and see which one best represents how a potato or the temperature of the potato will change over an hour. So if the potato is cool, we can kind of draw the idea of what our potato is going to look like. If the potato is cool, it's going to start somewhere down here and then go up. But the thing to remember is that a potato or anything being cooked is not going to become more than the temperature that the oven has it at. It's not the way that food works. So we need to make sure that the graph does not go above this value here. So let's find which one does that. So if you look at answer choice A to start, let's use a different color here. Answer choice A to start. It starts below 100 degrees, so that definitely seems like a potato or a cool potato, and then goes up. It doesn't go up into this 400 region. It kind of looks like it's going to stay closer to about 350 degrees. So A is definitely in the running. B starts the potato at a, almost a, above 350 degrees. So this is not a cool potato. This is a hot potato. So we're not going to even bother looking at this one. So answer choice T, C does a similar thing to answer choice B, starts the potato hot. That doesn't really make any sense. And it makes it go above 400 degrees, so not even going to bother with C. Now answer choice D has, or, has a cool, uh, cool potato, like answer choice A, but take a look at the temperature. It goes well above 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than what the oven is at. So answer choice D doesn't make any sense. So just because of that, the only graph that makes any sort of sense is answer choice A.